Hello, today, I would like to present to you a topic about welding. The content I will share is reduce energy consumption, use renewable energy, implement waste reduction strategies, implement green chemistry, use sustainable materials, focus on product design, invest in employee training, life cycle assessment, and recyclability. The first topic is reduce energy consumption. Historically, welding power supply was based on transformers, which converted the high input voltage to a lower voltage 50 Hz current. This low voltage current was rectified using a rectifier bridge to provide direct current DC welding output. However, at 50 or 60 Hz, transformers are inefficient and generate a lot of heat. Inverter-controlled power supply uses incoming 50 Hz electricity which is turned on and off using solid-state switches at frequencies as high as 50,000 Hz. This pulsed, high-voltage, high-frequency DC is then converted to a low-voltage, 20,000 Hz DC suited for welding. Solid-state controllers adjust the switching rate of the switching transistors to control the output. Low stress lead to long life. High-frequency inverters reduce stress on IGBT and raise switching frequency. The advantage of inverter is, it is lightweight and portable, able to obtain superior stick welding performance with all electrode types, multi-process welding output without sacrificing arc performance in any mode, quick response to changing arc conditions, for example, maintains a steady weld output even if the operator's handshakes, superior control over pulsed welding processes, line voltage independent uses single or three-phase input power and multiple input voltages without any manual relinking mechanism. Better power factor, more efficient use of power from the utility, less susceptibility to primary voltage fluctuations, for example, dirty power. For the conclusion, the inverter power supply offers effective arc cleaning with as low as 15% electrode positive, promoting weld penetration and decreasing heat passing into the tungsten electrode, allowing for smaller diameter, pointed electrodes to focus and narrow the weld further. Second is usage of renewable energy in welding manufacturing. Welding is the process of welding two or more metal components together with heat and pressure, which may use renewable energy sources, depending on the method used. Here are a few ways renewable energy can be utilized in welding and manufacturing. Electricity generation. Renewable energy technologies, such as solar panels or wind turbines, can be installed in manufacturing plants to generate power. This renewable electricity may subsequently be used to power welding equipment, decreasing dependency on fossil fuel-based energy sources. Renewable Power Purchase Agreements, PPAs. Manufacturers can enter arrangements to acquire renewable electricity from renewable energy sources. The whole carbon footprint of the production process, including welding, may be decreased by getting power from renewable sources. Energy-efficient welding equipment. Manufacturers can invest in energy-efficient welding equipment to save energy during the welding process. This equipment is designed to reduce the environmental effect of welding by optimizing energy utilization and minimizing waste. Sustainable Manufacturing Practices Adopting sustainable manufacturing practices can reduce the environmental footprint beyond the welding process by optimizing material utilization, recycling, and reusing resources and installing energy management systems. By that industrial industry can make progress by embracing renewable energy sources and sustainable practices, and by minimizing the environmental effect of the entire manufacturing process, including welding. This will lead to a more sustainable and greener future. How Welding Can Implement Waste Reduction Strategies Welding can play a role in waste reduction strategies within the manufacturing process. Here are some ways in which welding can contribute to waste reduction. Efficient material usage. Welding enables for the accurate connecting of metal components, which can save on material use. Manufacturers may reduce material waste by optimizing the welding process, resulting in cost savings and a lower environmental effect. Recycling and reuse. Welding can help with metal component recycling and reuse. Manufacturers can extend the life of welded components and decrease the demand for new materials by repairing or reworking them. Furthermore, scrap metal created during the welding process may be collected and repurposed, decreasing waste even further. Welding Process Optimization Using efficient welding processes and technology can help to limit the possibility of flaws or mistakes. 
Manufacturers may reduce waste by guaranteeing high-quality welds, which reduces the need for rework or junk. Training and skill development. Welder training and skill improvement can assist decrease waste. Skilled welders can accomplish operations with more accuracy and quality, reducing the possibility of mistakes or faults that might result in waste. Manufacturers may reduce material waste, scrap creation, and overall efficiency by adopting these waste reduction measures into welding operations. This not only benefits the environment, but it also improves the cost-effectiveness and sustainability of manufacturing processes. Implement green chemistry in welding manufacturing. Welding is not directly involved in the application of green chemistry concepts, but green chemistry concepts can be used to enhance welding operations. Here are a couple such examples. Material selection. Green chemistry encourages the use of eco-friendly materials such as sustainably generated, recyclable, or low-toxicity or hazardous qualities to reduce the environmental footprint of welding. Chemical substitutions. Green chemistry encourages the use of safer alternatives for dangerous chemicals, such as welding, to reduce the harmful impact on human health and the environment. Energy efficiency. Welding operations can be optimized to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by using energy-efficient equipment, optimizing process parameters, and utilizing renewable energy sources. Continuous Improvement and Innovation Green chemistry promotes research and development in welding, leading to the discovery of new techniques, materials, and processes that adhere to green chemistry principles. Advances in laser welding and friction stir welding can provide more ecologically friendly alternatives. Welding operations can be incorporated into a more sustainable and environmentally aware manufacturing strategy by using environmentally friendly materials, minimizing waste creation, optimizing energy consumption, and driving continual improvement. Further, use sustainable material. Welding can contribute to the use of sustainable materials in manufacturing processes. Here are some ways in which welding can incorporate sustainable materials. Material selection. Manufacturers can select environmentally friendly materials for welding projects, such as metals that are sustainably sourced and alloys with lesser environmental implications. Sustainable coating and treatment. Welded goods require protective coatings or treatments to avoid corrosion and increase longevity. Manufacturers can select environmentally friendly coatings that are low in VOCs and other dangerous substances, such as water-based or powder coatings. Biomaterials and Composites Welding can be used to combine renewable biomaterials or composites, such as bio-based polymers or natural fibers for specific uses. These materials are renewable and have less environmental implications than petroleum-based plastics or synthetic materials. Life Cycle Assessment LCAs can help manufacturers make informed decisions regarding material selection and welding procedures to minimize environmental consequences throughout a product's life cycle. They consider raw material extraction, manufacture, consumption, and end-of-life concerns. For the conclusion, manufacturers can reduce their environmental footprint, preserve resources, and promote a more sustainable manufacturing strategy by using sustainable materials in welding processes. Focus on product design. While welding is primarily a joining process, it can still have an impact on product design and manufacturing. Here are some ways welding can focus on product design. Design for manufacturability. Welding methods can affect product design by considering how they will be manufactured and assembled. Designers and welding experts can work together to optimize product designs for efficient welding, reducing complexity, expense, and quality concerns. Joint selection and design. Working with welding specialists during the design phase allows for the selection of the best joint type based on strength, material qualities and welding accessibility, structural integrity and durability. Welding is essential for product structural integrity and longevity, and product designers must consider load-bearing requirements, stresses, and environmental conditions when defining welds. Collaboration with welding engineers may help. Innovation and optimization. Collaboration between designers and welding professionals can lead to the development of novel welding processes or technologies that can improve product design. We can conclude that manufacturers can optimize the welding process, improve product quality, increase production efficiency, and reduce costs by collaborating with welding engineers and specialists. 
Invest in employee training. Investing in employee training is crucial for welding in the manufacturing industry to ensure a skilled and competent workforce. Here are some ways in which welding can focus on employee training. Safety training. Welding requires comprehensive safety training to ensure staff understand correct safety practices, equipment handling, and the use of PPE, which helps to reduce accidents. Welding techniques and processes. Regular training and development programs should be conducted to improve employees' welding skills and knowledge, including instruction in welding techniques and procedures, as well as understanding welding parameters and interpreting symbols and drawings. Quality control and inspection. Quality control and inspection training programs are essential for ensuring that welded goods meet industry standards and client needs. Employees should be taught visual inspection procedures, non-destructive testing methods, and identifying and repairing weld defects to ensure high-quality welds. Industry certification. Encourage staff to acquire industry certifications, such as those provided by the AWS or IUW, to boost their reputation and competence. These certificates confirm welders' knowledge and abilities and demonstrate their dedication to professional growth. So, investing in employee training shows a commitment to staff development, fosters a culture of continual learning, and ultimately helps to the organization's overall success and competitiveness. It improves welding QA. For Life Cycle Assessment Welding Life Cycle Assessment, LCA, is a systematic approach used to assess environmental impacts associated with the entire life cycle of a product, including production, use, and end-of-life stages. Here's how welding can be incorporated into the LCA process. Goal and Scope Definition Identifying the aim and scope of an LCA involves specifying the system boundaries and functional unit, including welding processes and related activities. Inventory Analysis The inventory analysis step involves identifying and quantifying welding inputs and outputs, including raw materials, energy use, emissions, trash creation, and water utilization. Decision-making and optimization. LCA research can be used to inform decision-making processes, such as process optimization, equipment improvements, material substitutes, and changes in welding practices. This can help manufacturers prioritize and execute these changes. Communication and reporting. Reporting the LCA study's findings to stakeholders promotes openness and understanding of the welding process's environmental performance, as well as future improvement activities. Conclusion. LCA can help manufacturers identify opportunities for improvement, encourage more sustainable practices, and aid decision-making to reduce the environmental footprint of welding operations. For the last recyclability. Welding has no effect on the recyclability of materials used in production, but the welding process and materials may have an indirect influence. Here's how welding might be evaluated in terms of manufacturing recyclability. Material selection. Manufacturers should prioritize recyclable materials when selecting welding materials, such as steel or aluminium, to ensure easier recycling at the end of the product's life. Avoidance of incompatible materials. Manufacturers should avoid using materials that are incompatible with recycling when building welded items, such as metals that cannot be easily separated during recycling. This can reduce the recyclability of the welded result. Material Separation Techniques Advanced welding processes such as friction stir welding or laser welding can improve recyclability by producing less deformation and eliminating post-weld treatments. They also allow for the joining of incompatible materials, allowing for the separation and recycling of components. Material identifications. Providing detailed information on the materials used, their alloys, and any coatings or treatments applied to the welded product can help with successful sorting and recycling at the end of its life cycle. Prioritizing recyclable materials, avoiding incompatible combinations, designing for disassembly, and using advanced welding techniques can help facilitate the recycling of welded products and support a more sustainable and circular economy.